It turns out red lights are not just bad for your stress levels, they're also bad for the environment. Now one city is getting help from a tech giant and artificial intelligence to address the problem. CBS's Ben Tracy takes a look in our continuing series, Protecting the Planet. So we're at an intersection, we're stopped. Most of us hate getting stuck at red lights. When I see a red light, I'm annoyed. <laughs> but Juliet Rothenberg is not like most of us. When I look at a red light, I see opportunity. Her job with Google is to make traffic lights like those at three intersections in Seattle more efficient and less annoying. Shift a few seconds from here to there, and that shift can have a big impact. Google's new Project Greenlight system uses its vast maps database and artificial intelligence to optimize traffic lights around the world. Are these intersections coordinated already? So they're actually not. The system suggests changes and city engineers then decide if they want to implement them. We had one case where we moved four seconds from a north-south street to an east-west street for a particular time of day, and then that can help reduce some of that stop and go traffic. Once the system gives you a recommendation, how quickly could you make an adjustment? You know, it can take us five minutes. Seattle is the first U.S. city to try this, but the program is being tested out at 70 intersections in 13 global cities, impacting 30 million car trips per month. Google claims it could reduce stop and go traffic by up to 30 percent. It means a lot for drivers and it also means a lot for emissions. She says half of vehicle emissions at intersections come from cars accelerating after stopping, and Google thinks it can reduce those by 10 percent. It matters because transportation is the number one source of planet warming pollution in the U.S. So intersections are a really good leverage point for tackling climate. Google provides its service for free and plans to expand to thousands of cities, creating what it calls a green wave for drivers. I feel like I engage with the red wave a lot more often than the green wave. <laughs> We're trying to change that. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Seattle.